Hey, this is Fiber Hell Michelle. This is one of my paintings behind me. I call him the Horse of Tears. You know, there's a lot of things that happen to us when we're younger that we probably, you know. Anyway, my parents called it growing pains. I remember always being in pain. And they said, well, it's growing pains. You know, you're five foot four and you're 10 years old and you start your period. Well, it's growing pains. But that's why we need to get our information together and put things together. You know, fibromyalgia is amazing because we want more than anything to go back to work. We want our old lives back. We don't want to be disabled. We don't want to lay in this damn bed. You know, I get people saying to me all the time, oh, well, they wish they didn't have to work. And I said, watch what you wish for because you might get it. I love to work. I started working when I was 10 years old because I was five foot three and looked 20 years old. But it's a different story and one that's a good story. And one story that I'm trying to make a script into because it's worth it. It's a strong woman's story of how she's made it on her own from 10 years old to 43 with going through hell. And the reason I'm really kind of a, the time I can really get it up is when something pisses me off and what pisses me off is when people are trying to sell you guys water for fifty dollars you know better i'm even mad at myself for ordering zephyr heels and getting it delivered for 30 bucks a month i'm just going to put a damn thing on my water tamp and you know make my water okay because we don't have the money for that and if we have money, we should be putting it in to try to get some of our friends out of jail, our fibro friends out of jail that got put in there because they helped a friend. They gave him a Xanax and they got put in jail for that. And fibromyalgia, if you ever get arrested or anybody looks at you, it's not on the disabled diseases. The cop will look at you. Trust me, I've been through it twice. And uh, I got arrested because I wouldn't let cops touch my arms because they're in so much pain all the time. So, of course, what they did was took my arms, put them in very tight handcuffs, and I, at two different occasions, I've spent uh, two nights in jail. And if you look at the records, and I'd love to have an attorney that would, but, you know, I guess attorneys are too busy. Any of you attorneys are out there that aren't too busy, fibro people could use your help because we are disabled. I do have my disabled card, but the cop didn't believe me because I look okay to him. Okay, I have a friend, one of my fibro people, one of my fibro help people in jail right now because she gave somebody two Xanax to help them sleep. How many times has anyone ever done that just to be nice? I didn't know it was against the law. Did you know it was against the law? You get somebody like Rush Limbaugh and he gets caught with hundreds of Oxycontin with his illegal maid going from doctor to doctor to get prescriptions for him and that guy is giving political advice to people and they're listening but one of us just old people can you know go to jail for two Xanax that's not a democratic free society if you guys think we live in one you're not thinking you know, when I went to Key West, it was me trying to be me again. I used to work there as a musician. I used to sing there. And, you know, I fired up my camera, and there was a couple of cops sitting there, and I said the word F, and everybody's like, oh, you can't say that word in front of the cops. And I said, you guys don't even know what your free rights are, do you? Freedom of speech is still basically here. You know, you need to look up on it. But if you guys did some research, you would find that people in jail or prisons are the ones that just didn't have representation. For Rush Limbaugh to be out with the hundreds of pills that man got under wrong circumstances and he still is able to vote. Because, you know, once you're a felon, you cannot vote. Do some research, people. Because it might, not, it might be you next time. I didn't think that when I went into Macy's for the cell and I spent $283 and I forgot to take a t-shirt off, I didn't think I'd be going to jail for that. Would you guys think that? Especially if you put a t-shirt on in front of one of the Macy's customers. You gave somebody a business card right on their 
their thing. And then a cop leaves you. A Broward police sheriff leaves you in the back of a parking lot. When your fibro hell kicks in, you know, sometimes you can get through, but the fibro hell kicks in and you've got, you know, you're thirsty and you can't stand the lights and you're sweating and you don't really know where you are and you just need to get home. Well, that's when it kicked in when I was in Macy's. I paid for my stuff, said I don't have energy to try it on. Forgot I put a t-shirt on. They could easily said, ma'am, are you going to pay for that t-shirt? I would have said yes or no. They didn't give me that. They brought in a Broward police sheriff that had me watched for another hour because he thought I could run after I told him I was disabled. So we've got to get fibromyalgia on the disabled list. And we need to educate these fine policemen that are out there abusing us. And when I say abuse, I mean abuse. And I'm going to raise some more hell about it. And if you guys any have any stories about it, I've already found several. I'd like the fibro hell stories about any police abuse. And we're going to help our friend get out. She's got 60 days in a jail cell without her medication, without water when she needs it. You know what it's like. If we don't help each other, who's going to help us? You know, I used to be a singer and sing on stage, but I can't do that anymore, so I started painting. I got my horse of tears behind me. I got 15 other paintings that I never thought I could do. So, Fibro guys, even though we lost our livelihoods and we lost probably our partners and our relationships, we still have ourselves and there's still something in us. And when we can get up and we, when we can fight, we need to do it to get fibromyalgia put on the list of, of problems. So when you mention it to a cop, he doesn't just throw your hands behind your back and say you're full of shit like I've had two of them do. Yay, Broward sheriffs. Yay, Miami Beach police. You're the best. You're like the football jocks. Did you know that there was a story, and it is right on uh, YouTube now on, on, on different stations, is a gentleman was out of work, so he took a test to become a Broward Sheriff, and they did not give him a job because he was too educated. He was too smart. They would rather have somebody with the GED or whatever, so when they tell them to arrest someone, they don't have to think about it. Can you say police state? It's called police state. And it's called they're taking away rights one after the other. The television shows are fun to watch. I like to watch them too. But in each and every one, they're violating people's rights of not speaking without an attorney. And you know, when they get you there and you're not used to it, anyway, it's not my world. It's not where I live. I've never been somebody that went over the line and got in trouble. But Fibro Hall Michelle is going to help her friend get out of jail because she shouldn't be there. If she goes off of her meds, it's dangerous. She could die in that cell. And what would they do? Just cover it up in Virginia, in West Virginia? Because she went to jail for two Xanax when Rush Limbaugh's out there for a hundred pills? Rush Limbaugh should be the one bailing that her out. Actually, I dare you, Rush Limbaugh, to even talk to me. Well, anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Fibro hell, Michelle, the only time I can seem to get it up is when I'm mad. And I'm mad when I hear of injustice. When I see people like us going to jail, but the rich white guys giving each other $20 billion raises and bonuses because they can Hey, you and I can't get our loan modified from the tax money because the good old boys are giving it to each other for bonuses. So why don't you guys chew on that? I saw a couple of videos. Someone was like taking a picture of one woman mowing her lawn that was on disabled. Who knows what she had to pay for, what it felt like the next day after she mowed her lawn. What did she get, $900 of the government's money? When these guys can't, uh, they can't account for $40 billion. 
we need to 